Oh, what a great guy. You guys ready for our next comedian? Yeah. Alright, we got 25 more. No, we're kidding. We got about uh, seven more. Put your hands together for the next comedian. The very funny Gary Jackson! How are you doing tonight? Good? Good. Yeah. Yes, I am Gary Jackson. Gary is such a shitty name. Never name your children Gary. Right? Is anybody named Gary? <laughs> you just clear the air if I fucked up with your name. I'm sorry. Because it sucks. Yeah, especially when I'm using my phone. You know, you got that. Does anybody have those Android phones where you're trying to swipe and put your name you know, in all those spells? It always says gay. <laughs> Fuck that phone. <laughs> so I moved to Hong Kong. I wanted a Chinese name. I wanted a Chinese name to like reflect who I am. So I have a Chinese name. It's Guai Lo Jackson. It's distinct, establishes who I am right off the bat. That's very good. And I'm actually a uh, Kian, Kian, right? Kian. I'm sorry? Kian. Kian. You're Scottish. Uh, oh. We'll give away the accent. Exactly, yeah. Because you sound like Rapsy Nesbitt. I don't know if you know that. If no one knows who Rapsy Nesbitt is, he's kind of like a Bob Dylan of comedy in Scotland. He's like, that's a bit, man, man, fuck it. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And you're very metrosexual, right? This guy is metrosexual. You are. How long did it take you to do that beard? I don't know what the fuck you just said. Can someone translate the English? I'm just kidding. I understand what you said. No, you look good, man. Yeah, it's good. I mean, did y'all? Do you? Do you? Did you have to wait for? Was he the late one? She, the girls were waiting for her. <laughs> Let me get this. No, because I did the same shit. That's why we're black. I want to be metrosexual, man. This is how I... But I'm just kidding. I'm colorblind. <laughs> this is the only color I know. I've been colorblind since I was a kid, too. Because I was like... I used to think I was awesome at Rubik's Cube. I'm like, give me that! I'm done! <laughs> I'm like, something's wrong with that kid. All my friends loved art class. I hated art class. They're like, today we're gonna draw a rainbow. And I was like, yay! And I'm like, what the fuck is a rainbow? <laughs> you know what I mean? At least my language was colorful. <laughs> which, which is good. It's good a lot of people in the house, Raul? Yeah. India? What part? Like, I was just in Hyderabad. Where is your family originally? North India. Delhi. Oh, Delhi, like Norda. Up that way, or past Norda? Uh, you don't know where you're from, right? Because you're probably, you, have you lived in India? No. Yeah. You did? Right, so, you in Delhi? Yes. All right, cool. That's good. I know why you hooked up with him. Shit. Two words, Karma Sutra. <laughs> like, what position are you on now? Like, 64? <laughs> I mean, how do you do that? Have you ever got the boat and just try to do this? No, 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 we can get the 64 right. Just, oh, just put your leg this way. Good. like a marathon, trying to do all positions and work. I think Prince did that in one of his songs. I think. Good, you got a great house. I did a Prince reference. So I kind of know the age group. There's a lot of youngsters like, who the fuck is Prince? He's the guy formerly known as Prince. For the younger crowd. <laughs> if you don't know who that is. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's got, I just did, I did a show up there and then afterwards, you need to go party, right? The problem though is in India, I don't know in Delhi, but like in Bangalore, Pune, all the clubs close at midnight, yeah. right? They shut down really early. Yeah. So you gotta like get drunk like at two in the afternoon. <laughs> and I went into the club and there was no DJ, but the music was pumping. I was like, where the hell is your DJ? And they're like, oh, we outsourced it. <laughs> I'm in fucking India. Where are you gonna outsource it to? Like Pakistan? The roof! The roof! The roof is on fire! Let your infidels burn! Right? Is that. Did you just admit? Right now? I spent a lot of time in Vienna. Really nice. Do you like Vienna sausage? Because you're off? Really? Huh? Frankfurters. Frankfurters? Yeah. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I just wanted to say that. I love, I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Because I, I, in Germany and then the thing, it's good. Do you like opera? Do you fuck the opera? Music? 
No, I don't mean to be so rude. I was like, what the hell? Because you're opera. That's where it got started. That's where, right? Magic. It's magic. Yeah. I saw some of the best, y'all have the best commercials after 10, 10 o'clock too, right? You know the sex commercials? Have you ever been to Vienna or, or like Austria or Germany? They have these sex ads that come on at 10. That's how I learned German. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, 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 no, 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 But all I knew how to do was like tell them, you know, kitten, and that's all. Which basically translates tits. <laughs> that's all I knew. Titten. Isn't that a great way? I'd love to see your titten. <laughs> I guess that's where kitten came from. <laughs> I don't know. I just fucking made that up. It's good. <laughs> you like the titten? <laughs> Who doesn't like the titten? <laughs> So, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Benjamin, that you're from Singapore. That just sucks for you, man. That's really, it's really sad. You know how bad Singapore's happiness rating is? Y'all right below Iraq. I'm not kidding. Have you seen this? Google it. Jamie's not kidding around. There's a happiness. And how the fuck could you be worse than Iraq? That is the worst country in the world, right? Iraq. I, I think it's because Hong Kong's so awesome and y'all just jealous of us, right? I think Hong Kong is so much better than Singapore. Yeah? Yeah. No, everybody's like, no, fuck, we want to go to Singapore. No, the worst thing, I think it's your taxi drivers. That's what makes y'all so unhappy. Because you have to beg them to take you. No, it's worse than that. You have to wait in the queue for 15 or 20 fucking minutes to beg them to take you. And then they only take you to where they want to go. What the fuck is wrong with that? Right? They're like, thank you, applause. And this is my first applause. I'm recording this shit. So I was, I, one day I was very funny. It's like, but no, it was really, it's stupid because you're like, oh, where are you going to go? Uh, I'm going to go go to Clark Key. And they're like, we're not going there. And then they just fucking take off. <laughs> Here in Hong Kong, don't have that. No. Taxi goes home and says, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. Fucking get in. <laughs> That's the beauty of Hong Kong. Right? And you have a postcode there in Singapore. That's hard to remember. Hong Kong, no postcode. That's right. Hundreds of islands, seven million people. I just say, tell my mom, Gary Jackson's house, when she writes me letters, she just arrives. <laughs> that is efficiency, or either they're watching me. Which, either way, is cool. And then the other thing, the best thing is, we have a holiday that no one else would ever celebrate, but it's the fucking best holiday in the world. Does anybody know what the holiday is? I'm sorry? <laughs> what? No, 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 I, no, you're like scared. No, I think it's, you're about to say something very, very funny. I'm very excited. You know? No, no, what's she say? So tell me. No, no, I want to know. No, tell me. What did she say, bro? Grave sweeping. Grave sweeping? Oh, grave sweeping. Oh, yeah. No, that's not it. <laughs> Typhoons. <laughs> Who the fuck celebrates typhoons except Hong Kong? And we get a day off to go out. What do we do? We go get drunk. Is that not the best holiday in the world? And I, that's one thing I, you know, I think I get out of here. I, 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 we got so many great comedians, I don't want to hog the stage, but one thing I, you know when you have a bad day at work? You know when you have a, just a really shitty day at work and then you're like, you know what, I could have done so many things with my life. Why did I? Every guy, every guy, when you have a bad day, don't you ever think about, you know what, I could have been a porn star. <laughs> there's always, I, I promise you, every guy in here, at one time in your life, you said, I could be a porn star or a porn director, right? No, no. No? Yeah, but you wear a skirt with no pants or underwear. <laughs> your balls are always out. <laughs> you dressed up tonight. Uh, you know? And you go, wee, wee. That's a callback to another show. The comedians in the back. No, so that's why. You never wanted to be a porn star. Never wanted to be a porn star? No, it could be I don't know what he fucking said. Because <laughs> I have to say, man, you know, back in the day, that was the thing to do. Because kids right now, they have it's too easy with porn. Have you seen this? 
porn everywhere. They can just go to porn. I remember back in the day, I used to read the TV guide to look for porkies <laughs> and fast times. Actually, I would just look for one's adult situations and nudity in the side, right? That's all I did. I'd stay up to like three in the morning just to see a little titten. <laughs> I was so desperate. <laughs> and then if you were lucky enough to get porn, you would keep it under your bed at night. A VHS tape for the youngsters. You could Wikipedia that. Goes in a VCR. And when you put it in, like, you'd hit the eject button sound like a transformer ejaculating. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. And the worst thing is, seriously, when you had this VHS tape, I used to sneak into my living room and play it. And there's no louder sound than hitting fast forward at like 4 a.m. <laughs> and I love you guys. That's all my time. Guys. That's all.